Hey y'all, Lori B. Crafty here, just checking in. Um, I wanted to do some videos for folks, just so you can get an idea what it's like going to one of those big scrapbook events, if, in case you've not been there. And scrapbook isn't a fair term. I think a better term would be a paper crafter or or artist. There's all sorts of paint mediums. There's just everything that you can think of there. Uh, in addition to the sale stuff, they also have lots of classes. And I took seven classes this time. And one of my classes that I just fell in love with was the Queen and Cole class. And in each class, you usually do a project or two or three or four. And this was the worksheet for the Queen and Co. project. Uh, the kit came with, it was called the happy hour class. It came with everything to make five cards. Um, at the class, I had time to make three of them. First of all was this one. And I haven't put the, the sentiment on yet. I wanted to pop it. But they've just come out with this spun sugar stuff which is way cool. It reminds me of like, I don't know, like troll hair actually. But um, yeah, spun sugar for cotton candy. So that was my cotton candy card that we made. The next one they had are these um, beautiful, colorful pom-poms. And this is, again, I need, I need to get these sentiments put on here because I wanted to pop them up and I didn't have any foam tape at the time. But anyways, um, they have these little dots that you put on here to create this really cool balloon effect for this card and then the last one is more they're more traditional ones but this was the this is a birthday one and it is a traditional shaker card which I love and um the the joke at class was the <laughs> the the lady teaching teaching the class called this Yoda and I will never not see Yoda here even though it is a gumball machine it looks like Yoda, doesn't it? Uh, so that made me laugh. The great part about this class was that the kits are so easy that, that, that they sell um, or that come with the class. Uh, and they are changing how some of their kits are done. So the elements are in these handy dandy pop outs, which, you know, one of you... I mean, we've all had that old oh, crap moment where we needed to have a card the next day and you need to whip something up fast. Well, these kits are great for it. So I just wanted to do something real quick today um, to show this. The kit came with the A2 Classic A2 card. And the one that I'm going to do is called Showering You With Love. And it looks to be like a super quick card. And as I said, these came all cut out already and just need to pop them out of there. Um, and I love stuff like that because I, I am always needing a, I always have what I call the old oh crap moments where I need a card and I don't have one. Um, and so these kits make it super duper easy. And Queen and Company, their cards are just so bright. Their color palette is just wonderful. I think it's a just, it's beautiful and bright and light and it just is uplifting. I think love it. I just really, really love it. So this is as simple as it gets. I'm just putting the little elements on, um, using a quick tape runner here, trying not to mess this up completely and doing what I always do, eyeballing stuff, because that's what we do, right? We guess at it, we eyeball it, and we say, yeah, that'll work. Close enough, right? Sometimes close enough counts. Now, this is a little different than what is on the, the project sheet. The project sheet had a, an additional layer in here of a white panel, but I don't think we need it, because also I found in the kit where these little inserts and I think that once we get those behind our cloud, yep, they'll fit perfectly. Once we adhere these to, once I adhere this to the card base, the back of the cloud will still be white. So we'll be good. It'll all be all sorts of good. So yeah, I want that whole one there. And so what we're gonna do is, see how this is gonna build? It's gonna build that way. So I'm going to get this on the card, and I think for this I'm going to use wet glue. 
just because wet glue, I believe, is a little bit more sturdy when it's all dried. And this is going to be an element that's going to have stuff layered on top of it. So let's make sure that that is dry. That is going to be properly affixed there. So I want to go a little bit further up here because I want to leave space for the raindrops. Air quote, raindrops. Now, this comes with this little acetate thing, and I don't know if you can see it, but don't lose it. You'll need it. Um, trust me, you'll need it. So you can pop this middle part out here. We don't need it. Um, if you want to, you can keep it for something else, but uh, for some type of other card that you want to make, but for this card, it's not needed. But what is needed is for me to get my head probably down here so I can make sure this is lined up pretty good. It's okay it's a, it's a little bit off. Now what's really important is don't take off the sticky part until you put your pretties in. <laughs> Otherwise your pretties will stick to that part. Now I know these tend to get really staticky so let's just not breathe too hard. Let's pour these in here. You want to pour a good amount, not too much. I don't think I want to do the whole bag because if you get too much in there, then it won't shake. Now, of course, this top part is going to go right on top here. Now, here's my other warning to you. <laughs> when you're going to put this on, you got to commit and go to it. Go for it because otherwise, these little dots, these are like staticky as all get up. And they will come up onto this and it still might happen. Um, and then you kind of like painstakingly taking stuff off. So let's see. I'm going to carefully peel that off. It doesn't want to come off. There we go. Carefully peel that off. And there. Now, did you see how that stuff started moving? Um, you know, if the, if the top acetate is a little bit off, that's okay. Because, you know, as long as you've got it covered, then you're good. Whee! But then we have this little piece that I am going to put over top just to do it so it has a nice seal on it. I mean, that looks okay, but I think this will protect it a little bit better. And I am going to wet glue this because it's going to be on to acetate and it's a funky donkey shape. So let's get that around. Whoa, whoa. Here we go. We get this on. Ta -da. Ta -da. Now I, you can see I got a little dab of glue there, but this is our glitter glue, so it will dry clear. So I'm just gonna let that be. I don't wanna mess with it because if I end up moving this around too much, I'll get streaks on there. But there we got our nice, we got our nice um our nice shaker. Now, we're not done yet. No, 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 we're not done yet. What we're gonna do is, since we're showering, we're gonna make some rain. Rain. So I'm just gonna cut three lengths of this. And again, this came in the kit. This came in the class kit. Isn't that awesome? I love it when kits come all together like this. So, back to my wet glue again. And I just kind of want to space this out to see how this is going to look. And they don't have to be the same length. I like things being a little bit off and different. Makes it better man-wise. So I'm just going to do a quick little strip here. I'm going to let that affix in. Now we're going to do the next one over here. Just have an idea how long that is. There we go. Just roll that right over there. Straighten you out a little bit. There we go. And then this one, I'm going to run straight down the middle. Leave that there so I can gauge. There we go. Okay. Now, I think they may have used their gloopers. Yeah, because this glue is not loving on me right now. They had these things, and I don't know if you can see this. They, she was calling these gloopers, and they're like globs of 
glue. But the thing is, I need them for this last card, perhaps. So I, I'm hesitant to use these here. So I may need to let this sit. Yeah, this is not wanting to sit. Not wanting to sit at all. It will. You just need to make sure that it gets good and affixed in there. So I'm going to do a top drop in there to make sure that top piece stays. I'm going to do, I'm going to sneak a drop in there too. Make sure this top piece stays. Now, you know, when I started doing this, I always swore that I would shell my not too pretties too. I don't think this is going to be a not too pretty. This is going to turn out, I'm just going to glue the crap out of this. Oh, I use C words. Yeah, I, I probably swear too much and forgive me if I offend. My child is asleep. I am not at my office. So if I need to let out a little expletive, then so be it. Now, these are my raindrops. Aren't these cute as a oh, get up? I love them. And these I am going to use the gloopers for, I think, because they just will stick better. So essentially, and I don't know how well you can see this here, but there's these little gloopy dots. And I'm just going to peel a dot. <laughs> it literally went flying on me. I'll find that when I'm doing laundry, you know. Oh gosh, I just like three heads stick to my fingers too. So here, and then we put it onto the one that we want. Remove the ones that are attached. And we're just gonna put that down the end of my rain shower. <laughs> Can you see I got three like attached to my thumb? You know, whenever I'm working with vinyl, I tend to find it like attached to my fingernails and stuff. It just goes wherever. Let's pull a yellow one now. So let's get a yellow one. Should I use tweezers? Probably. Should do a lot of things. <laughs> but I'm tired. I want to get this card done for tomorrow, so... I'm certain by tomorrow that will have dried okay. So, got a glooper there. Boom. Now, how stinking cute is this? Yeah, this these will actually help adhere the other two because the glooper's kind of like going over the going over the string a bit. Like little raindrops. All right. Nothing wasting. I'm going to pull that third one off my finger that's stuck there. Or not. <laughs> All right, let's get another green one. And we'll go in the center for that green one. Let me try and get one of these off without 42 of them coming off. Of course not. That flinged up my arm, but at least I saw where that went. It's hilarious. Okay. There's that one. Let's get that back lined up in there then. Here we go. There we go. Oh, it's stuck to my tray. Got it. I think we need a blue. There we go. I'm sticking that right there. There we go. Oh man, this is so cute. Oh. I'm a big girl. <laughs> All right, let's do uh let's do a yellow. I know Queen and Company sells all these accessories online, like so, like all the things I showed you tonight, I know that they have them online. Um, so, th so it's easy enough to get supplies to make another card. You know, I think this actually works better if you put the dot onto the glober and then pull it up. 
except when I get stuck, stuck to your finger. Oh, now look at that. Isn't that cute? Seriously, how stinking cute is this? And then that's going to be the sentiment there. So, yeah, a quick and easy card. Um, Queen and Company kit. I'll learn this all from uh, the class that I took at the Great Lakes Mega Meet. And so the next one is going to be this. Now, I had some other friends take this class. And they said this one is a little bit more detailed. And I don't know if you can see this, but you essentially put these buttons I have all these fun colored buttons over here into the heart shape and I can't find my heart shape right now I just saw it but it, it's around oh here it is into this heart shape and then you put in beads around it to kind of fill out the color so that one's gonna take a little longer but for now this was our this was my quick card for tomorrow and I think it turned out super cute all right, well, I, all right, everyone. Um, have a great night, day, whenever you're watching this. Questions, feel free to post them. Um, share if you like the video, and be sure to follow me here on Facebook for more crafty kind of goodness. Thanks, all.